Hopefully, we may see some uh, uh, some good attacking drivers to hit from him to try and come through that bunch. And Carlos Reutemann now challenging Nelson Piquet. And Reutemann is fastest so far because early on in the race he did a lap in one minute 36.5, which is some four seconds inside the 1978 lap record put up by Gerrier. The battle for second, it's Piquet, Reutemann. Just behind them is Didier Pironi. As we look at the battle for second position, and Reutemann waving his hand at Piquet in front of him, saying, let me through, but I don't imagine that Nelson Piquet is about to do that. No, Piquet has been making himself really very difficult. He's been taken to the inside line uh, whenever Reutemann's been threatening, which at this stage of the Grand Prix, when you're not leading, I always think is a little bit naughty. Um, he can fight Reutemann from the conventional line. He really, uh, if he can't fight him from there, he shouldn't do, but he's in second place and he's holding it. I suppose it's his to defend in whatever way he wants, as long as he does nothing dangerous. But it's a good battle. Reutemann's certainly getting a little bit uh, upset with his tactics. Second, third, fourth and fifth, because P uh, Piquet followed by Reutemann, second and third. And then, just behind them, you can see the battle between Pironi and De Angelis in a moment. There goes the Brabham chase, and there is Pironi, the Frenchman who is going to Ferrari after this race, and he is now in fourth position ahead of Elio De Angelis. Behind Elio De Ange Angelis is Jones, and Jones is fastest. Right He's threatening. gone round faster again. Yes, see Pique there taking the inside of that corner, making right. Oh, they're very close, and Reutemann's being forced to go the long way round, which makes it virtually impossible. And meanwhile, because they're messing each other about, Peroni has just about caught them up again, and that, of course, is the problem. But Piquet taking the inside line, he's not quite as quick. And so now Peroni is threatening. We've got, the, we've got the whole group all together. This is terrific stuff. It's even more terrific because now into the picture comes Alan Jones because the fifth of those cars, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, is Alan Jones, who has stormed up. He is now closing up on Elio De Angelis in the Essex Lotus, who is behind Pironi, and there is Reutemann, in third position. So we're looking at the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. 